Hello, hello, and welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to be talking about Filey Bay and their English single malt whiskey. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click on that little notification bell. Matt, why don't you give us a little bit of background on this? All right, Filey Bay. This is their very first release, which is a very cool bottle. So uh, our buddy Pete brought this back over from the UK when he went to visit over there. Tell you a little about this. This is their very first release, which is very awesome. We get a chance to try a distillery's first thing. So <clears throat> Filey Bay was planted by Tom Meller and David Thompson for both agriculture backgrounds. Tom actually grew up and lived on the entire farm. So everything for the product goes from this farm into this bottle, which is very cool. They have 130 acres of direct drill farming and 70 acres of traditional farming. So direct drill means they stick it in the ground, they drill it out. Instead of tilling it, they uh, put like radishes and oats and stuff over it to get the nutrients in the winter, which is kind of a cool thing. They, it's a wind powered farm, which is kind of neat. Their website is amazing. They go into like crazy detail about every one of these things, which is really awesome. So these are like transparent as all can be, which is awesome that they're doing that. <clears throat> so they started with a brewery in 2003 and it was called the World's Top Brewery, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so this is in Yorkshire, which is the very first distillery in Yorkshire that makes whiskey. And Filey Bay is the uh, bay you see out the window of this, so which is pretty cool. So you see the sandy beaches in the in the water and all that cool stuff, which is very cool. Um, Dr. John, Jim Swan was their manager. Basically, he's like the Dave Pickerel of that side of the world for single malts for starting, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, he also passed away recently, so oh. it was just sad. So, but still pretty cool. They got to have mentor him. So. Like I said, everything here is filled the bottle, which is very cool. Um, it was a single malt. They took them. They've been in business for eight years, but they've only actually had stuff in a pot still in 2016. So they actually waited five years to do it right. Gathered enough cat. They, they have thousands of casts laying down, which is pretty cool. They use a really interesting company. They have two Forsyth Scot uh, stills from that are some of the biggest outside of uh, Scotland. And they also have a column still that works in tandem with their spirit still, which is I've never seen that before. Just printed the four plate column that works in tandem, which is Pretty neat. We had a cool prior, so it's neat. But yeah, so they have bourbon cast, sherry cast, muscatel cast, all the types of wines. Um, the gannet, which is a bird, which as you can see this here on the bottle, is their, I guess you want to call their insignia, whatever you want to call it, because they have the largest colony um, in the UK is right at, right near the distillery. You can go visit. If you go visit them, you can go visit this colony of birds, which is pretty cool. So anyway, so this bottle itself is the first release, like I was saying, it's 46%. It's non-chill filtered, no coloring, which you, know, you can tell probably, you know, it's, it's three years old, so it's just barely legally whiskey, which is a requirement in England as well. Um, they made 6,000 bottles, so we're lucky to get this. It's sold out, you know, which is cool. So if you have one, you have a, uh, a keeper, but as we know, whiskey is meant for drinking. So anyway, each subsequent release, of course, will build on each year. We'll get a little bit older. Um, like I said, they combine the pot and columns, so, which is kind of neat. Um, and so it has, I, lo I love the fiddly bits, though, is that, you know, you got like – all these cool stuff on here and it's everything is into it. It's just a really neat, pretty it's bottle. Pretty it's bottle, yeah. Of the ocean, which is really cool. So I think they they spent some serious money on this bottle. I can tell that for sure. But it wasn't when I looked at their website, it was only like 45 pounds. So it's not crazy expensive either, which is kind of nice. And the reason they have this uh cool and sitting everything in is so that you think about the farm, the soil, the beach and the sky, which is every little piece that's right there. So it's all really neat that it's one of the few that legitimately farm to bottle, not just grain to bottle, farm to bottle. I, yeah. I like that phrase better anyway than that grain to glass. Yeah, I mean, aren't they all grains? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it's all going in your glass, so yes. yes. Obviously, it's for grain. What the I hell is it? I, I like the farm to bottle better. Mm -hmm. Agree completely. Yeah, so it's this, pretty good. This has a very champagne y smell on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like it almost smells like that effervescent that champagne has, almost like it would taste bubbly. Yeah, which would make um, sense because it's it does have a little bit of sherry barrel, but it's only sixteen x bourbon barrels and a tiny bit of sherry at the end when they combine these. Yeah, all I, from you know, uh, spring and summer twenty sixteen. I can get behind uh, both peach and apricot. Yeah, uh, and a little it's bit very of uh, totally some uh, honey pear. pear. Vanilla, floral. Mm -hmm. It's very honey, and it it reminds me of when we tasted the <clears throat> fresh off the still. Um, Single malt? Yeah, the, the uh, oh, white from, dog. Uh, was that Aberfeldy? Is that what we did it from? Yeah, it reminds me of that, the, the honey. 
mm -hmm. a white dog for for yeah. uh, scotch. Yeah, it's got this like lemon drop, lime, uh, like a fresh, clean wind. Like you're, it's really like you know you're kind of standing on the beach with the wind yeah. and the sand and the salt all hitting you. So it's kind of neat. You get that in a bottle. It's it's on the bottle too. It reminds me of one of those beach candles, the one that are meant to like smell oh, yeah. like when you burn it. So, yeah, so this is like a beach in a glass. Yeah. Some uh, let's see caramel, whipping cream, powdered sugar. I'm really digging this on the nose. A little bit of baby powder. Yeah. It's got a really nice there's, complex nose for there's three a years freshness. old. There's, there's a freshness about it overall. Mm -hmm. There is. But but I think that the, the candle uh, reference was probably best in my mind because it's it's an artificial right. freshness. Um, there's something, and, I, and I'm going to attribute it to the youngness, but there's something just kind of funky, kind of off, just slightly. So, and it's just, it's just buried back in there. But it's, it's not over malty on the nose either. It's not. No, but yeah, I could see that candly wax note in the back there. Yeah, that makes sense. Just fake fragrance, right? Like just that. Yeah. It was great Yeah. All right, I'm going in. Oh, it's got that effervescent feel on the, the palette mm -hmm. too. Like right up front. Almost, it's almost like. It's almost like bubbly. Yeah, that clean, crisp chard Chardonnay taste. Yeah, it's really yeah. It's very fruity. I get the same, the pear and the honey on the palate right off the bat. And it's kind of got a lingering finish. Mm -hmm. it, it hasn't stopped for me yet. No, it hasn't stopped for me either. And it's not, you know, burning, that high proof burning finish. It's just the mm -mm. swelling that just keeps going. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I like it. Sort of, uh, honey, vanilla, like powdered uh, milk. Like an Earl Grey tea with a biscotti in it. Yeah. And some chocolate you know, shavings. Mm. We were talking about the um, spring like whiskeys the other night. And mm. I think this is a really good example of like a, spring, a springy type spring of time. Yeah. Totally. This feels like it's like drink it's like drinking springtime. Mm-hmm. With like a lemon lime. It's really cool and refreshing. Yeah. It'd be actually good, I think, by the pool. I think it'd be great in the summer by the pool, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just by itself. Don't need yeah. any loss for it. Mm -hmm. It's very refreshing for mm -hmm. a whiskey. Yeah. I, I like it. I like it, a lot. It, it, it almost feels like they went really it deep into the tails. There's a lot of oily viscous yeah. 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 to this still being as light as it is, both in color and on the palate. And you but, wouldn't think that by the smell that it was going to be such a Clingy mouthfeel. Yeah, I'm putting in a drop, um, thinking that you know there might be quite a bit of carbon in here. We might get a little bit of uh, oil separation, even though it is only three years old. So it's quite tasty. They did a good job. So they were going for light and fruity, so they they definitely succeeded in this. Uh, I think they clearly did their research. I mean, like their barley um, varietals are crazy. What they talk about on yeah. their website, like you know, it's it's like looking at, at an ag site. And do this cool nerdy whiskey details. So it's the whiskey nerd's dream website. It really is. Nice. I, I spent a lot of time looking at it. I had a really probably too much fun looking at it. <laughs> so I, I would advise if you are interested to definitely look at their website because it's a cool website. I like to get these guys on the show, to be honest. Right? Oh my contact. Yeah. It simplified things quite a bit. Mm. The finish died off a lot, mm. which is very disappointing. Yeah, because I like that finish. I did. It's really good. It just went on and on and on. Uh, the finish dialed down. The proof spike dialed down a little bit, though. That we it wasn't high to begin with. Um, yeah, I, I don't recommend a drop. Nothing magical happened. Cool. Okay. Good to know. Yep. Thanks for taking one for the team. Indeed. I am very impressed for this being a first release for a three year. Never done this before. This this is quite good. Uh, I think clearly that means they're using obviously good barrels, the ones that they are using that even obviously they're ex bourbon and cherry, but uh, clearly using very good ones. They they did not cheap out. That's for damn sure. So good. I really like it. Good yeah. deal. So thank you, Pete, for letting us borrow this. This is delicious. Yes. Thank you again, Pete. We appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to set up for those notifications. And until next time, keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Good. Not going to get me with a burp this time. <laughs>
Even with that effervescence? Even with that.